I'm Wilmington Mayor Mike Brzezicki. You know, Wilmington is a multifaceted city, just like most urban areas around the United States. We have a mix of thriving neighborhoods, active neighborhood associations, music and entertainment venues, as well as cultural and community-based events that people enjoy throughout the year. We also have great restaurants and all those things that help to make Wilmington an attractive city for residents and visitors alike. But we also have a serious urban crime problem that is affecting some of our neighborhoods much more than others. This problem dampens community pride and feeds into the perception that all of Wilmington is struggling with crime. That perception hurts our reputation and gives people who live outside our city a reason to reject all that Wilmington has to offer. I'm questioned occasionally about how I can take time to celebrate a new business opening or make plans to beautify our city's largest public square when people are being injured and killed in senseless shootings. The answer is I have to support our entire city and I have to be there for those who are suffering through the needless gunplay just as I have to be there for residents, businesses and other organizations that are doing great things to ensure Wilmington's future. Believe me, it's not easy to view this contrasting picture of our city each day and then balance my duties as mayor between the, the positive and the negative things that happen. One way to end this struggle of behaviors and values is to bring crime under control so we can all celebrate the good that is happening in Wilmington. In fact, Police Chief Bob Tracy and I are committed to working with you to tackle crime and arrest those responsible. I want you to know that you are part of the solution to this problem. We need your support. We need you to believe, as we and many others do, that this crime trend can be reversed. We need to change the hurtful and deadly behaviors of some who are drowning out the good that is being done by the majority of our citizens. We need to bring new job opportunities and new hope into neighborhoods and push for additional social services when needed. We need to ensure that physical and mental health care is available. This is a big task, but we can do it if we do it together. I am working with Council President Hanifa Shabazz and all of Council on plans that will keep our young people engaged this summer as part of the CDC Community Advisory Council. We all need to do our part. If you have a comment or a suggestion for me, please call my office at 576-2100. If you have any question or concern about city services, please call the Office of Constituent Services at 576-2489. Thank you for watching. Thank you.